No slowing down for Dennis Quaid. Uh-uh. Last month he got married, and he's been working on a podcast, and he's also learning how to play the piano. He's a busy, busy guy. Of course, Dennis has appeared in more than 100 movies, but the one family still watch over and over is 1998's The Parent Trap. And earlier this week, the cast got together a virtual reunion hosted by Katie Couric to help raise some money for a great cause. Hey, Dennis, good morning. Hello. Hey, you doing, Thoda? Look, good to see you. Look at Maria. Dennis. He look, doesn't Dennis look good married? I mean, come on. It looks good I mean, on he you. He looks exactly the same. How was that Parent it's, Trap reunion for you, Dennis? <laughs> oh, it was so, it was so fun. Uh, it was uh, Lindsay, uh, it was over in Dubai, and uh, we haven't seen each other, uh, I think, since the day we wrapped almost. And uh, it, it was just great to get back together with, with, with everybody. And it was uh, such a warm uh, feeling between all of us. It's the same kind of like warm and squishy feeling that everybody feels when they watch the movie, I think. Yeah, Katie, uh, Katie was saying that it was your idea to reenact that scene with, uh, with Lindsay on the, um, on the reunion. Is that right? Yeah, I got the I got the script online like five minutes before we were supposed to do it and then uh, texted it to everybody. And uh, then Lindsay and I wound up do, uh, doing the scene in the car, which I think was my favorite scene, too. <laughs> Dennis, we talked about you learning how to play the piano and I want to get to you getting married. But what about those guitars behind you in those scenes? W what are all those guitars? Those are all guitars from my life, you know, like my very first guitar that uh, my mom bought me. Uh, mm -hmm the night of the Elva special in 1968 in Houston, Texas. Mm. And uh, if, if there's like an old, uh, old Gibson there, one of the first electric guitars that I picked up in Tennessee. And they, they're just all special to me. That is really, really cool. We got to talk about you uh, getting married because it all happened in yes. June. It was a teeny tiny ceremony, just you, Laura, and your pastor. Yes, well, we, and uh, we are here right now in uh, Colorado in Vail, uh, taking her cross country honeymoon, as it were, or the first of our honeymoons. She's right here, by the way. She Aww. just, we all just got up here in Colorado. So <laughs> let's just take it. That's so sweet. Be on camera today. But <laughs> that's sweet. The the Look at that. <laughs> what is it like this time? You have a pretty big age gap, right? How mm -hmm. many years between you? Uh, there's 30 something years between us. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, said, we just don't even notice it. Like you know, it. Just, we have, we uh, never related uh, to someone uh, in my life better than, than we do. It's just uh, uh, we have such a great relationship. And, you know, love finds a way wherever it is. And you never know uh, when love is coming who that's going to be. And you have no control over it. And uh, we just couldn't be happier. I think that is the sweetest. That is the sweetest. Okay, so you've got your new bride. You're busy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just letting the days go by in, in quarantine, but you're learning the piano? Well, I'm uh, continuing the piano. I learned the piano uh, when I, back when I did uh, Great Balls of Fire. I didn't play the piano. I played guitar, and I had a year to prepare for it, so I basically sat at the piano for 12 hours a day. Uh, for a year to, to learn, but, uh, and I, I've played since then, but uh, I mean, being, you know, in the uh, in the pandemic and the lockdown, as it were, it was a perfect excuse to um, get back and really get to mm -hmm. it. I wasn't 12 hours a day, I was only five, but. <laughs> Dennis, I wanna ask you, you said, they, we said in the intro, you've been in a hundred films. Yeah. Yeah, what do you like credit that. the duration of your career? I mean, mm -hmm. many people do one or two films and they're done. A hundred films. What do you think the well, secret uh, to that? Well, one thing, I've had a lucky life. And um, I think it's important for uh, any artist, uh, no matter what they do, to kind of remake yourself about every seven years. They call it the seven-year itch or whatever, or another decade. But to you know, play a different type of role. I think in the beginning, I was sort of the bad boy. Mm -hmm. And then when I cleaned up my life, I sort of started playing dads and coaches. And, uh, um, and you know, these days, uh, I just do anything I want because yes. I can. We love that. <laughs> well, if you want to learn. I'm having a great time. And I've had a really good time starting uh, this new uh, uh, podcast platform called Audio Up that uh, my partner Jared Goodstadt and I started uh, about a year and a half ago and our launch was April 1st which turned out to be a you know bad time for pandemics but a really great time to 
to start okay. a, uh, mm-hmm. an audio of a, a, a podcast platform because wow. uh, of content. We just want to and let everybody kind of know. Great Dennis. time, and that's that's really how the Parrot uh, Trap reunion came about. Is uh, we wanted to have Lindsay as a, as a guest on my show called the the Denisance, uh-huh. and uh, and Katie yes. at, at the same time was uh, trying to get this together, and we uh, we got it. Wow. And you can hear uh, the. the Parent Trap Reunion on uh, any uh, platform on the Denisons as well. It's uh, an extended thing. All right, Dennis, we thank love you. If you want to learn more about Dennis, go to the Denisons. It's a great place to be. Dennis, thank you so much. Uh, lovely girl, horrid habit. What did I do? Send you to summer camp or finishing school? Lovely girl, horrid habit. What did I do? Send you to summer camp or finishing school? <laughs> she started yelling in French. I didn't know she spoke French. She started yelling in French. I didn't even know she spoke French. Them, T H E M. Get the picture. T H E M. Them. Get the picture. Hi, I'm Dennis Quaid, and we're flashing back to the parent trap. Well, the relationship between Nick Parker and his daughters, it was very idyllic. And that's the way Nancy Myers, the director, sort of made it. Every shot she did was to make everything look very perfect. You know, it was a perfect relationship. It was sweet and it was uh, warm and um, and just the way, like a dream dad. That's what I was portrayed in Hallie and Annie's eyes. Get into these arms, you little punk. Finally. The favorite scenes uh, from the movie would be where I uh, pick up Hallie at the uh, airport. That was a great one, and, and the driving in the car from there, the conversation that we have. And uh, then the other one is, which is a fan favorite, is the falling in the pool. Uh, sir? Oh. Oh. I think it fell. <laughs> I think it fell in the pool uh, about six times, and that was a complete dry off and change of wardrobe. Luckily, it was a warm day. You know, I met Lindsay uh, at her screen test. And she was over by the craft service table and I just went over to meet her and it, she just struck me as the smartest, most precocious 11 year old I think I had ever met. And uh, she just had this confidence about her. She didn't even have the part yet. You know, there were four other girls that were auditioning, <clears throat> but uh, it was just pretty obvious that this was somebody who was really talented and was going to go beyond the, you know, the parent trap. She was a force. Hallie Parker! Oh, don't do this to me. I'm already seeing double. She was just so spot on. She knew my lines, her lines, everybody's lines, and then she would like, you know, disappear for about 10 minutes and come back. And she was the other twin. And in the hotel uh, scenes, there in California, you know, when uh, Natasha is there and uh, Meredith is there, and, and we're checking in, and that was the real sort of um, sort of highlighted where she was playing both roles. Actually, I'm not Hallie. Actually, I am. Both of them. Annie. Hallie. We had to shoot it things twice. And she would, it would, she would be seamless, you know, she would go from this English accent to, you know, this American little girl and uh, how she did it was really just so admirable. I had to admire it. She was like a chameleon, the way she could slip in, in to each character. To tell you the truth, I haven't been on a boat since the QE2. Neither have I. Well then, here's to uh, our daughters. Our daughters. She was just always just so great to talk to. She came to work just ready to work and uh, with her attitude and uh, 
her personality was just just she was just fantastic to be around. Oh, by the way, Mayor, I think there's something on your head. <laughs> Well, it's the, you know, the lizard scene on her head, which is the, I think the most, uh, I get the most feedback from uh, six to eight year olds. Uh, they love that scene. And, uh, you know, Meredith, uh, Elaine was such a trooper about that because that was, you know, that was a real lizard in her mouth. So uh, crazy. Well, I remember as a boy uh, loving Haley Mills in The Parent Trap, and uh, it it's just a story that endures. And, um, you know, there's a lot of theories about it. You know, one being, and I, I kind of think is true, is it's sort of a kid power movie where, uh, especially in the age where uh, you know, there's so much divorce that the kids have the power to put their parents back together again. I think that's where it comes from. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.